friends, it's Miss Jennifer from Central back for another week of DIY sensory. This week I have my helper back with me and we are outside because we are going to do a messy uh, sensory. So this week we are going to do mud painting. I have a little bowl with some dirt in it, some water to add to it to make mud a spoon to stir, some cups to put the um, paint and mud into, and some washable paint. Um, the washable paint's the key part so that you can do it really anywhere. Uh, we're gonna start mixing our ingredients together and get painting. Okay, so I've got my ingredients here and we're gonna start by making our mud. And we're just gonna pour some water in. And it's really up to you how thick you want it. So always start with a little bit less water and you can add more. We're going to finger paint with this today. So we're gonna leave it a little bit thicker so that it uh, adheres a little better as we paint. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more mud. It's a little thicker than I'd like it. Or a little bit more water rather <laughs> to the mud. And that's a pretty good consistency. It's, it's like pudding, but uh, still malleable, still uh, movable here. All right, so that's our mud. Then we're gonna pick out a few colors for the paint. And what colors would you like to do? I wanna do pink and green. Okay. So we'll put a little bit of paint in each of our containers. And this is why I do this one outside because it's messy, even with the washable paint. And it will wash away from our sidewalk here, um, but it'll be a lot easier to kind of just hose everything down afterwards. Can we put, can we put the... Well, we're gonna spoon some of the mud into our cups now. Ready? All right, so we've put a little bit of paint in each of our cups. Now we're gonna put a spoonful of mud in there. All right, and I'm just gonna mix it up really well. Oop, I had a chunk of dirt in there that didn't <laughs> break down apparently. Why is this our mud? because we added water to our dirt and it made mud. So as you can see, it takes a decent amount of the paint. So I'm gonna add a little bit more, a uh, little bit more paint to each one to get the color I want. Is that red? Yes. Oh. And then we'll add a little more green can also. I What's up? Can I, can I have the spoon so I can get some of the mud? Well, right now we're gonna stir what's already mixed in. So you can take the spoon, here you go, and go ahead and stir that one. Okay. Whoopsie. So this is really up to you as to how messy you'd like to get it. Um, if, if you want to keep it cleaner, I would do the prep work, you know, before you get your kids involved. Um, and it'll, that'll keep probably a lot of the mess down. Um, so that's the red. And that's our green. And you see with the mud, it makes it very earthy. It makes it a much darker, richer tone to it. And once we have our colors picked out and mixed in, you can use paper if you like. You can paint right on the sidewalk. Um, it's really up to you. We're gonna do it right on our sidewalk and I'll do a little bit of paper just to show an example. All right, go for it. Dip your hand in and start painting. Okay. 
And this is another factor of keeping it more or less messy. So we're gonna use our hands today. If you want it to be less messy, use a paintbrush. That, that's okay, we're using our hands today. Um, and that'll keep the mess down as well. But once you're ready, you can just do this. And again, because I've used washable paint, it is going to wash right, uh, right off once I grab the hose or once it rains. Um, but that's kind of a look of how it um, goes onto the paper. And uh, this is how it looks on the cement. All right, well, we'll leave it on the sidewalk then. And you can just have fun with this. It's uh, It's got quite a different feel to it than just regular paint. Um, the mud mixes in really nicely with it and keeps it thick, um, but I also just uh, gives it some of the grainy feel that dirt has. Uh, so it's definitely a, a unique texture input when you're when you're working with it. All right, friends, thank you for joining us for DIY Sensory. Have fun creating in the mud. I'll see you next week.